what I'm doing here is scales. Um, just a ergonomic exacto knife. Uh, probably need to switch out this blade here. It's kind of dull. In fact, that's what I'll do right now. So there's two different ways that I'm uh, carving these scales. Uh, up here where this grain, you see the grain on top of each other here. Blades really don't like going through that. Uh, they, they tend to skip and chatter and then uh, tear as an end result. So what I do... To combat that is I take this little uh, tool that I have here and then I'll actually just punch and just make the scales out and that's only in these these uh, rough areas here other than that it's just follow the lines what I normally do is when I'm not taping I just crank up some Pandora and uh, listen to I listen to um, typically reggae music, if you want to believe that. It just gets you in the mood. See, like right here is a... Let's set my bench up here. Right here is a spot where I know I'm going to tear it. So I'll just switch over to this blade. And I'll just punch cut. I always want the flat end up against the scale so it's a clean cut. And then the back half is chiseled away later. So there's a lot of switching back and forth between my razor knife and that small chisel. Well, this is where I'm going to actually fast forward everything. Um, I'm just going to keep the video rolling and I'm just going to uh, hit the fast forward speed so you can see. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to get this whole fish done or at least up to here and then pick it up in the back here. Um, typically, what I can do is about this much I can do before I have to stop. And that's typically how much my hands can handle it. And I'll go and uh, sometimes I'll actually ice it. And that's just preventative. It's not because I have to. So I'm going to crank up my tunes and then we'll just do a fast forward. All right, so this is a good stopping point for me right now. Um, what I like to do is I like to get past the fin, and then there is a roll that I'm working on. And to tie it off, 
this is my finishing row. So I'm just going to finish this thing up. Going to take a break. And then we'll get back to doing the rest of these scales. There's a, a few points on here. Like right here, these um, scales right here, I actually finished carved. And what I should start doing is finish carving around the scale or the fin and the gill because when when you're on a um, when you're on a run I call it a run uh, this line of scales right here what I'll do is I'll carve on the bottom and then I'll carve on the top and then I'll do one row at a time and then stopping picking up another tool and then uh, moving right along is when you're in a groove you're in a groove put it that way so just let me finish up this undisturbed row of scales. I'll take a break. Working on something upstairs. We got people coming in. Um, my wife wants to, we got these old, uh, you've probably seen them in some of my uh, pictures, the old uh, oak uh, cabinets. What she wants to do is she wants to paint over them. So, but there's an actual process. So somebody's gonna come over here and give us a quote. Probably gonna do it myself. But I just gonna pick their brains sort of for free. Went to the home show. All right, so this is an undisturbed line of scales going up and down top all the way to the bottom. And then I'll do another segment. You know, I just might just finish up the whole thing because this is a hand here. This is a hand's worth here. All right, break time. I'm back downstairs. I'm going to finish up the rest of this portion of the scale work off camera. Um, I'm going to take a few shots here and there uh, for this video itself. The reason is I'm using this old tripod. And it's not working out so well. The angles are all wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this old hat that I have. And I'm going to use my iPhone. I'm going to attach my iPhone to the bill of the hat. And sort of use it as a, a point of view shot. And I think that's going to work out a little bit better. I do have a GoPro. I just don't know how to use it yet. I'll figure that out later. But in the meantime, I'm going to get this hat thing rolling. So you're not going to be seeing a lot of this in my hand. You're going to see more what I see and so I think that's a little bit better second stage of carving scales is done first being drawing them in and after I'm done doing the uh, scales carving them in all I got to do is just clean up these little spots here which I call picking um, when I do the background I call it chipping when I clean up the edges I call it picking and I'll do a lot of picking when it comes to these scales because when you carve these in there's sometimes these little flyers that gotta get picked out of there. 